Which team is going to show up? Which one? Vikings game? Washington game. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Wrong Cowboys Fan Talk. Right back like I never left. First of all, my quarterback walking already. I can't wait till next year, man. I cannot wait till next year, man. Dak is walking. Dead ass felt like <laughs> my brother was walking again. That's crazy. But look, look, um, let's talk about this team, man. <sighs> Recently did a collaboration with um, Cowboys fan 1980. Salute to that brother. Amazing. Y'all know who that is. Um, he that dude. And um, my boy um, Sid from Cowboys for Life. And um, I appreciate the collaboration, brothers. Um, we were talking about the team and the state of the team. And look, we're a great team on the cusp. But as soon as one bad thing happens in the game, we just say, oh, well, party over, lights on, DJ cut the music. Like, what's going on? Like, we was playing real good, man, and that fake punt, that was it. Team checked out. And it's like, in a couple of games this year, I've noticed that, man. In the Cardinals game, um, of course, in the first Washington game, second Washington game, it's like certain moments will make the team just check out. And that's what we got to break the habit of. We got to be able to fight to the end for the full game. Now, usually I come on and I make a video about how we can win, how we can win a game. Listen, real quick. We got to play time possession. We got to play a physical brand of football like we did versus Minnesota. We got to lean on this running game. Um, I know Zeke's having his problems this year. Um, and Tony Pollard seems better. But I feel like together, we, that's a great backfield, you know, presently. Um, and we got to lean on it. That will open up things for Andy Dalton. We can't go into this game trying to lean on Andy Dalton completely. I'm also looking for C.D. Lamb to have a bounce back game. Um, that drop last week, I know that's sitting on his soul. You know what I'm saying? So C.D. Lamb is going to have a bounce back game. And, yeah, man, I want defensively, man, I just want to see some more hard hitting, man. Baltimore is coming to road grade us and run us over. So what we going to do? Donovan Wilson, I'm looking for you. Wolf Hunter, I'm looking for you. Neville Gallimore. Woods. Randy Gregory, D-Law, this is a can-we-stop-their-run game. I'm glad that Lamar Jackson's back, too. I am glad. Good. Because I don't want to assess this team versus bad talent. I want them to be fully healthy and fully stocked. Let's see what we got. Because I can't give you a good breakdown on the squad if most of their players is out and we catch a, a cheap win and now we're going to be filling ourselves for the week. That's our problem. That's our exact problem. We we caught that win versus Washington. I mean, um, versus the Vikings and we went to Washington or the Washington game playing around. And you look what it got us. Got our heads knocked off. So look, man, this week, I'm focused on the psyche of the team, man. Will the real Dallas Cowboys team please stand up? Is it the team we saw versus the Vikings or the team we seen in the back end of the fourth quarter of the Washington game? I'm telling you right now, I think it's the team versus the Vikings. We showed up on all facets. You know, we got to hunker down, start playing precise football, concise football, make good coaching decisions, and I want the players to come to play. And I think we'll upset Baltimore. You know, so yes, do I think we can win? Yes. Y'all know how I give it up. Yes, I think we're going to win. Is there any confusion? No. Um, but do I think if we play around, we'll get blown off the field like Washington did to us? Absolutely. So we need to come out there completely focused. You know, completely focused. I am watching the rest of this division, and I'm seeing the Giants putting things together. You got to salute that team. I ain't no Giants fan, obviously, but look. Team playing good, man. Good. Now maybe Dallas will wake up and stop feeling like we could do whatever. We still in it. No, you're not about to be in it. Giants is five and seven. Eagles, though. <laughs> yes. 
Jalen Hurts look good, man. Jalen Hurts look real good. Y'all have fun with that. Y'all got a whole lot of problems up there in Philly. And I don't feel bad for none of y'all. Because um, ain't nobody give us nothing. Our quarterback broke his ankle off. And everybody act like won no problems. So I don't feel bad that you got a quarterback controversy. Enjoy that. And that salary cap. But um, back to Dallas, man. Look. I just think that we need to focus on our foundation. These last five games will define the Mike McCarthy era. I'm going to keep saying that until it's four games and so on and so forth. Mike McCarthy, man, this is when your coaching chops are on display. What you going to do? Because San Fran dealing with mad injuries, too, and they playing hard every week. So I don't want no excuses, man. Get it done. Or get out the way. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. What do y'all think we going to do? What team do y'all think is going to show up on Tuesday night? A team that's going to get road graded or a team that's going to smack Baltimore in the mouth? Y'all let me know, man. It's your boy, Mr. Rome, Cowboys Fan Talk. I'm back on my bullshit.